Hello and welcome to this channel update. My name is Saiken and I just want to go through a couple of uh, topics that are near and dear to my heart. Uh, on the back uh, you can see the wonderful last mission of the Lone Wolf run uh, that has just finished. I'm incredibly proud that it worked out and super happy for all of the support um, and the positive comments that I've received. Now let's uh, also talk a bit about the current situation and uh, the next potential uh, projects. Number one, as some of you already know, uh, Corona unfortunately brought me into a situation where I do not have access to a proper gaming PC, meaning that currently I cannot really uh, record new um, episodes. But that will change within the next uh, month, so I am looking for your feedback as of what you would um, uh, like to see. A couple of things that I'm definitely going to do. Number one, um, I do have and will continue uh, the uh, lo um, Long War of the Chosen campaign. Uh, there is still enough content left over and XCOM 2 and specifically Long War will continue to be a part of this uh, channel. Number two, uh, I received a few requests regarding the, uh, saving my disaster campaigns and educational videos where people wanted to have their gameplay reviewed. I will continue to throw those in from time to time as well, uh, as they had been uh, positively received. So you can imagine that that's going to happen. But with regards to the next run, we actually do have a couple of options. So back to my elaborate um, background animation. So the, uh, the options uh, that, exists are, uh, that exist are, number one, I've uh, been asked to uh, do an exquisite timing um, run, which is an achievement that you either do on command or above, where you need to finish the game in a certain uh, time span. I have never tried to do that on Legendary, but I figured I might as well give it a try. Um, and if we're not successful with the achievement, uh, it will at least show how fast you can uh, finish the game on Legendary. So that would be just getting it done as fast as possible. So an in-game speedrun, not a real-time speedrun. So that's option number one. Option number two, um, was a single class run. Many of you were asking what's the most difficult single class uh, where you are only allowed to use that class and that class only to finish a run. If you're interested in such a thing, uh, then that would be option number two. Option number three um, would be uh, more Psy focused, so Psy Rush and um, Spark focused um, gameplay, typically underutilized um, uh, classes, maybe I put in a skirmisher for good uh, measure. So really a di uh, kind of different uh, gameplay um, if that is of interest. Uh, the way that I will do the voting is quite uh, simple. Underneath uh, this uh, video in the comment section I will put all three options in there. Just give uh, a thumbs up for whatever option you like. You can have multiple uh, votes clearly and um, if you feel strongly about an option just reply to the comment and uh, put in your reasoning why you want to uh, see that option so um, that you will have a better chance uh, that that's even uh, going to be taken. So that concludes the XCOM uh, 2 section. Again, Long, war, uh, uh, long uh, war of the Chosen is what we're going to see and one of the runs plus a couple of educational videos as well as saving your disaster campaign. So that will round out at least half if not more of the content of the channel but there is more to come which I want to share with you right now. The other part um, will be a game that I've recently um, rediscovered uh, for myself, which is going to be Battletech. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, it uh, plays uh, pretty similarly uh, to XCOM. Um, it's uh, set in the Battletech universe. I uh, needed to read up a bit on the lore of it, but essentially it's in the year 3000, and depending on when you are playing, uh, around 3025 in this case. Um, it contains a lot of mechs. It is a fun and uh, rewarding experience and I'm definitely going to at least um, stream the campaign and probably will do a nightmarish uh, run where I'm uh, going to play on the absolute hardest uh, potential um, uh, setting and maybe even limit uh, the tonnage uh, that uh, is allowed to, uh, to finish. 
um, uh, that playthrough. So that's going to be uh, some fun for those of you who are fans of Battletech. Um, this is going to happen. Um, I was looking into Rogue Tech as well, but that kind of gets almost ahead of uh, ourselves. Let's see how the um, Battletech content is being perceived. It's definitely um, an interesting gameplay and I'll try to make it swift and uh, fun to watch as well. The other uh, small pet project that I have uh, on the uh, back burner is uh, Shadowrun uh, Hong Kong campaign. Another uh, pretty nice little RPG slash uh, real-time um, or roguelike strategy um, game. Uh, I personally liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of the Shadowrun universe, and that'll be airing as well. All of that content is on top uh, of the normal XCOM 2 content, which still will be the main focus of the channel. Other than that, guys, that's the update. Uh, we are going to continue uh, the um, videos as scheduled every second day. And I'm wishing you a wonderful uh, rest of uh, October and November. Thank you for watching and see you very soon on the channel. Bye-bye.